you had an extraordinary interview with David Asher. Everybody knows about the lab leak versus natural origin theory. I think most people listening to this show believe it's, it was a lab leak that caused the COVID virus. We were funding gain of function research at the Wuhan lab. We were lied to about it repeatedly by Anthony Fauci. We know it's true. Even the CDC has now had to admit, the NIH has had to admit it was true. Um, and you had this great interview with, he's from the state, ex-State Department official, as I recall, who was in charge of the COVID origins investigation, but he's no longer with the State Department. And man, is he speaking freely. So what did he say? Right. So I was able to interview David Asher. He led the U.S. State Department's investigation into COVID origins. And he said on the record to me, which I wrote about in my piece on my Substack, he said, this is a massive cover-up. I mean, what's amazing to me is that like, this happens to me over and over and I'm always wrong, but I go to bed at night, I'm laying in bed talking to my wife and I say, everything's gonna change when this comes out. Cause I'm like, <laughs> this is so huge. This is crazy. You know, when I wrote a piece about the hospitalization numbers are, are, are inflated by 40 to 50% in children. Oh, once this happens, everything's gonna change. I keep having these moments. The lead investigator for the State Department said, there is an enormous amount of information that is both classified and unclassified that the government is not releasing. This is a massive cover-up. How this is not, you know, on the front page of everything, it just blows my mind. It's good for me, I guess, as a journalist, because mm -hmm. I have this lane that I can stay in. People are going go to go to my, you know, uh, newsletter to see this. But Silent lunch. Silentlunch.net. But it's not good for society. And that is quite a remarkable statement. And when you look at the evidence, which I talked about with him, I mean, there's just that, by the way, there was a law that was passed, Biden signed it, where they had to release all of the information related to um, the Wuhan lab. This was, I don't recall the precise wording, but this was required. So the fact that this, um, there was a report put out by the DNI, that's the Director of National Intelligence, it was like, five pages of actual content. Astonishing. This was supposed to be a comprehensive report. And again, this, by the lights of many people, was in breach of the law. Why aren't there constant articles about this? Wait a minute. The, the law that was signed by the president says you have to release everything. Five pages? That's everything we've got? This, this is, How this is this piece not of like it, a massive story? This piece of it I don't, I don't mm -hmm. fully get. Mm -hmm. I get why these insane leftists want the masks and want to reject any reporting that they don't work. Mm -hmm. Same on the vaccines. I don't get why they don't want to figure out once and for all definitively what caused COVID. That caused the death of their loved ones, of teachers, of students, of parents that made them not be there when their parents died in the nursing home. Why do some of these people have no interest? I get why Anthony Fauci doesn't want it. Mm -hmm. He appears to have dirty hands. He helped cause it. That's what the evidence seems to be driving us toward. Um, I get why even at the government level, they may not want it. China, we're too in bed with them. We don't want to upset the apple cart, the relationship. Um, I don't get why normal liberals mm -hmm. <laughs> don't want to know exactly how it was caused. Do, do you understand? I think there's two things at play. So you're absolutely right regarding the government. There's so much money that sloshed around. It wasn't just from NIH, it was from USAID as well. Many, many millions of dollars went toward this type of research, but it got funneled through different universities and then it funnels down through the NGOs. So it wasn't just like a check was written, but there's a long trail. So there's a reason why so many people, and as you said, the sort of geopolitical um, fallout from if it actually was from China and if we were involved. How, so there's... But I think there's two things for as far as like regular people or regular sort of professional class elites or liberals. I think a lot of them do want to know. It just doesn't get covered by MSNBC or whatever. Because they, And I also think the other ones who don't want to know, it's because this has been coded as right wing from mm -hmm. day one. Mm -hmm. um, when you had a, a lead reporter at the New York Times who had tweeted and then deleted something about, you know, this is racist. Right, so the lab leak theory. Right, and so I think once something gets branded in a specific way as right wing, it's very, you know, it's, it's really, um, it just calcifies for people in the, in the public conversation and in this political dynamic. And I think it's very hard for people both publicly, but perhaps even for themselves to allow themselves to feel like maybe they're on the other team, you know, because that's how something gets branded. And that happened with me over and over again during the pandemic, particularly early on. I would talk with 
top infectious disease specialists, top immunologists, epidemiologists. And every conversation began with, I didn't vote for Trump, but, uh, and that's how every, every, they had to sort of like establish that like, wait a minute, don't worry, I'm not on the wrong team, but this is a bunch of bullshit, you know, and whatever we were gonna talk about. The fact that every conversation had to start off with this preamble by someone who's, you know, at an elite university, at a top flight hospital, that they felt that they had to do that, that's, to me, indicative of the larger problem. So I think a lot of it is just how things get coded in our public conversation. And once they're associated with the wrong team, it just doesn't matter. It's impenetrable to evidence or logic. Another layer of that is their deification of Fauci. I mean, they they fell in love. <clears throat> he became a political lightning rod. They dug in as opposed to saying, I'm open-minded that maybe he's misleading. And what exactly did he fund and not fund? And what role did he have in telling us all via that one origins paper that is definitely not a lab leak? Was he involved? Because that's been, you know, I think debunked is the, the correct word. They, they've they dug in. Fauci is a saint. <laughs> Fauci's been unfairly attacked. Fauci is our superhero. And so they're not willing to hear any news that would belie that, that belief. You covered this, we covered this too. Um, it's, to me, I've said this to the audience, it's wonderful to me that the Republicans have control of the House. Divided government is a good thing. And thank God that they did, because otherwise we wouldn't have half of the documents we have on Hunter Biden. We wouldn't have any of those documents. And we wouldn't have the documents that we got on COVID origins, on Fauci, and how that paper came about in, was it March of 2020? It was March or was it April 2020? April, yeah, I think it April was. April 2020. Published, yeah. Uh, I always screw up whether it was nature or science. Um, same, I think, right? Yeah. It's like it's basically the same. They're the public. same thing. Coke or Pepsi? Okay, yeah. exactly. So <laughs> one of the big, um, right. You know, uh, medical journals, uh, and it was all Fauci's favorite virologists, some eleven, twelve of them, who had gotten on a phone call and started out by saying, "We think this is a lab leak. This looks very much like a lab leak," and then within forty-eight hours, reversed themselves on it. Uh, you've done reporting on this too. And when you saw that trove of documents that came out of the House Republican Committee on the mm -hmm. pandemic, they got the actual documents showing the back and forth between Francis Collins and Fauci and all these virologists and the manipulations and the the amount of coordination, I should say. What was your reaction? It was a pretty remarkable uh, amount of material where we were looking at emails as well as um, Slack uh, messages between the different virologists and others. And- well, the one thing that stuck out to me, and again, same theme about honesty, when Anthony Fauci first spoke about this paper um, at a White House press briefing, he just mentioned it as if it was, you no, know, these people, I don't know them, I'll see if I can you know, get it for you later, these virologists. He never mentioned, oh, I was on the phone with them. I was thanked in an email privately from them for helping out, you know, for, for offering assistance or guidance with the paper. Um, that doesn't mean that he manipulated what happened. I don't know, we're not privy to, to that. But what we do know is he certainly was involved on some level. And I think just from an optics standpoint, to pretend that this was just some objective scientific endeavor that he had absolutely no investment in or involvement in would seem to be quite misleading um, in my view. And I'll tell you who the unsung heroes of COVID are. Of course, the frontline workers. But what about those business owners who hung in there and paid their employees during the pandemic? If you stayed open and paid your people, you could be eligible for up to 26,000 bucks per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. $26,000 per employee. This is not a loan. These are government funds that you don't have to pay back. All types of businesses, including nonprofits and churches, can be eligible. But you need to apply now because Congress may pull the funds. covidtaxrelief.org has helped tens of thousands of businesses just like yours and secured over $500 million. And unlike others, they charge nothing, absolutely nothing, up front. They do all the work, then share a percentage of the cash they get for you. You did the tough thing for your employees during COVID. Now let covidtaxrelief.org help you get up to 26,000 bucks per employee. Visit covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.